Hi, I am Dr. Gayatri Karthik, Consultant Obstetrics and Gynecology at Manipal Hospital. I was referred this patient with a difficult, uh, with a large tumor in the uh, baby, uh, causing difficulty in the uh, breathing passage. So I was referred this patient because we have handled cases like this before. So we did uh, perform what we call the exit procedure, where we uh, are able to put in a breathing tube into the respiratory passage of the baby while the baby is still attached to the mother and its mother's circulation is still continuing. So we call this the exit procedure called the um, extra uterine intrapartum treatment that is given to babies where we anticipate difficulty in breathing of the baby and uh, a difficulty in putting a tube into the baby after delivery. So we do that while the baby is still having its uh, sub maternal blood supply and oxygen supply from the mother. So the exit procedure, the uh, extra uterine uh, intrapartum treatment what we do is for patients, is for babies with difficulties uh, in breathing. Now when does this happen? Uh, if there is a tumor in the neck pressing the um, uh, larynx or the voice box or the uh, trachea, the windpipe, these babies are likely to have difficulty in uh, breathing or in uh, putting in a tube to help them breathe. Um, so in these kind of conditions, these are picked up antenatally by ultrasound and they are referred to us. And so we have a wonderful team of doctors, including the neonatologists and the anesthesiologists who we work as a team. So we deliver the baby in half, we perform a cesarean, we deliver the head of the baby and before we deliver the full baby and cut the cord and uh, separate the circulation, what we do is we deliver the baby. So the baby is still attached to the mother receiving its blood supply and oxygen from the mother. At that point of time, the anesthetists or the neonatologists come in and intubate the baby. Intubate meaning putting in a tube into the uh, windpipe of the baby. So if at all they have any difficulty, they use uh, some extra equipment to visualize well and put it so that the baby does not get compromised in terms of oxygenation. If the baby is separated from the mother, then the baby is trying to breathe on its own and if we are not able to put in a tube, then the baby gets into trouble. This way, we secure and we make sure the baby is 100% safe before we actually separate it from the mother. Anesthesiologists play an important role because uh, we have to deal with the mother and the unborn, uh, unborn fetus. So uh, we have to pl plan accordingly. It is a, a, a huge teamwork which involves not only the doctors but also our technicians and other uh, paramedical staff in inside the operation theatre. Some modifications in the anesthesia technique is also required where uh, we have to, uh, general anesthesia is the choice basically so that we have things well under control. Uh, the mother is put to sleep and uh, with the routine monitoring in addition to the routine monitoring we'll have to do some invasive monitoring along with and then we we, uh, we anesthetize the fetus so that the fetus uh, um, does not move when we try to secure the airway so once the mother is anesthetized the fetus is also anesthetized and a regular cesarean section is performed the uh, as the head of the baby is delivered uh, we get into the picture where um, we try to secure the airway. Uh, one of the one uh, upper limb of the baby is also brought out, and we put a pulse oximeter to monitor the baby, and we try to secure the airway. With uh, we have a protocol kind like uh, first we try to go ahead with a routine laryngoscopy and securing of the airway. The next step, if we have problems, we can use supraglottic uh, airway devices. Of if that also fails, then we have to have a plan C where the surgeons get involved. Once the baby uh, cord is clamped and uh, the baby is secured with the airway, we hand over the baby to the pediatricians to take care. As it's been already highlighted by everybody what exit procedure means, now I'd like to give a little more salient features where it involves a lot of planning by multidisciplinary thing. First is a uh, meeting of all the multidisciplinary who are involved and then everybody should be clear with the action one, uh, plan A, plan B, plan C. If, uh, depending on what is the first priority. Six cases that we have done, 
we've been able to successfully uh, secure the airway and get the child out without any hypoxic damage. So main important thing is this placental circulation is used to uh, prevent the hypoxic damage while we secure an obstructed airway uh, that has been diagnosed in utero by the ultrasonologist. Uh, so this is where we uh, the planning of exit procedure helps in getting the child with the minimal um, uh, cerebral damage or anything because of hypoxia. So that is the main goal of ex exit procedure. Our uh, neonatal perinatal unit here at Manipal Hospital Bangalore receives a lot of antenatal referrals where the baby who has been found to have a compromised airway even before birth that is in utero that is in the antenatal period when scans are done. Sometimes babies are found to be having tumors in the neck like this baby or sometimes there are tumors inside the mouth or compromising the organs which are the windpipe inside the mouth or something extrinsically is pressing the windpipe from outside. Sometimes there are babies who are born without a diaphragm so called congenital diaphragmatic hernia. These are babies who are referred here for the exit procedure which you do normally in these instances. Now this baby after the exit procedure successfully could establish a secure airway for this baby. We then transported this baby to our neonatal intensive care unit in Manipal Hospital Bangalore where this baby was connected to a ventilator to give supportive respiratory care for this baby. We then contemplated what is the best care for this baby and investigations including an MR I, which is done with contrast was determining that this was a tumor which was vascular in origin. So we adopted a very conservative approach in management where we used a special medicine called propranolol which slowly shrank the tumor so that over the next two weeks this baby could be got off the ventilator and including oxygen support. Today we are very happy to tell you that this baby is breathing normally on her own and she is even able to breastfeed and she is off any kind of respiratory support and we do expect that this tumour which is already considerably shrunk is probably going to shrink further in size and the baby should not have any problem and we are going to discharge this baby healthy and happy home to a mother who is very happy to receive this baby. This is the success story of the exit procedure in this baby we wanted to share with our audience here today. Thank you. Thank you.